Chapter 12. White Sis Night Yagami Comes. The train stopped in Wells, as in giant killer Wells. They jumped out on the station and Dark did a roll to be cool, because that's what you do at the train station. A cop saw them and shot a shotgun? Gun? But what? Why? <laughs> also, it's not a shotgun. It's a shotgun gun. <laughs> Why would you do that? Uh, you, you look like an idiot from the police station. I think the most they do, unless you start to harass somebody, would be to tell you to leave. But the bullets curved like the Matrix or something. We're not quite sure what they did. Even though shotguns shoot pellets, technically, not actual bullets. And broke a window and the train... So they are a train station. Okay. And the train and a fire ran after them because fires can run at you like at like the speed of light. So Dark had to grab Nier and Naomi and jumped fast off a, off a cliff into Loch Ness. That's what? That's not in England. That's Scotland. They saw the monster and Dark punched it out and swimmed to the orphanage well you're going the wrong direction because whammy's house is somewhere in england not scotland in a science place deep in the bowels of the whammy house because the whammy has whammy house has balls not the kind of balls you're thinking of i mean bowels there was a test tube and one of those fire thingies from symmetry lessons in school shotting sparks everywhere in the test tube was a laddie and she was naked because lads can are actually girls. It was a, uh, oh, what are those called? Uh, instead of a dick girl, it's, um, I don't really want to say that because that's actually very rude. But yeah, the opposite of a dick girl. You know, the boy version. And she was naked and a whole bunch of pipes and wires and stuff were stuck to her skin. Then she got out and get it. Wow, there's like three T's in that. And get it, it dress. She put on a silver top that said Nike on it and jeans. Those are the wrong kind of jeans. Though if they were big enough, I guess you could put one on each leg. Wouldn't cover much else, but you could probably do that. As well, that were ripped. So they were jeans, as in genetics, that worked out a lot and were very fine looking. I get ya. She died? Oh, well that was short lived. Her hair, I don't know why a bunny suddenly came into this, and it was pink with green bits. And some red and also some black where the dye missed. Uh huh. So she died. And she had a rabbit that apparently is pink with green bits and some red and also some black where the fact that she died missed the rabbit. So apparently when death comes for you, it's multicolored, I guess. I mean, that sort of makes sense when you think about body decay. But anyway, then she mohawked her hair and put on a piercing shaped like a nuclear. What is your obsession with nuclear? Not everything should be nuclear. I don't get it. Also, how can she mohawk her hair unless her hair unless she's like half bald? Anyway, on the roof, Dirt got a drill from his pocket. How? How does he have a drill in there? Dirt got a drill from his pocket and drilled himself a hole in the roof and jumped in. Inside was like a million stormtroopers that weren't but wore the suits for safeness. They weren't stormtroopers but they were dressed like stormtroopers because that's what you wear in a lab to be safe. Makes a lot of sense to me. Oh great, not again, Dark said sarcastically, because this is something you've faced before. Guys wearing stormtrooper outfits. He drew the he drew he gun and checked the clip. It had really a million. It had million bolts 
in it so there would be just enough if he didn't miss and cause he's a dead god a uh, dead good shot he didn't and they all got blasted away and the room was safe ag again but bloody now uh, it's kind of what happens when you kill a million people that can somehow fit in a room all at once except wait you just said he didn't miss but now you're telling me he did miss okay except he missed one so he had to punch a guy in the face and he punched so hard it went through and killed like a hundred more so he missed like a hundred and one and then he punched one guy and was able to kill a whole bunch of guys that he out that he somehow missed i'm still gonna say jenna is worse at counting it was all two as in to violet for near well i would imagine it'd be more red than violet but okay for near who was near get it at at a window watching the fight and being sick everywhere because the only blood he saw was blood's blood banana what when did he ever meet blood when did he ever see a blood banana how is that different from what's going on now blood is blood the only blood he saw was blood's blood bananas which were melty and sometimes made blood everywhere again he never met blood so he wouldn't know any of this where's the frickin lab naomi pouted even though she's yelling in all caps look for a sign that says La labradori said dart cause he was a smarty and new as in new shiny car what lab was then why did he lie to her and say labradori okay they found it and went in but it was a laboratory and the real play uh place was next door okay sure we can revisit star turds if we want to i'm probably going to be like ew but we can do that in the freaking lab except that we weren't in the lab we were in a lavatory who are you said the naked girl wearing clothes if she's naked she's not wearing cloths well i guess she could be wearing cloths because she's not wearing clothes she's covering herself with wash rags i guess she's taking a bath in the bathroom is the lavatory the same thing as the bathroom? Like, I know there's a toilet in there, but it... Well, I don't know. Probably not at a lab. Probably wouldn't be a bathtub in a lab. Maybe a shower, in case you got chemical crap on you and you had to wash it off. I don't know. Who are you? Said the naked girl, wearing clo cloths. But no one could hear her, because she was speaking whalish. I speak uh, I speaky wells too, Near said, and trans translated. Why would he do this? You guys are holding him captive. Why would he translate? Also, why would anybody but Wells speak what well, why am I asking this? It's a dumb story. <sighs> I am Dark Yagami. You look sexade. You look sexade? I am Dark Yagami. You said that no way she explained she explained okay <laughs> she's yelling but i guess she's explaining something here in a minute i'm your freaking sister night you got young gimme yeah me or something they all gasped even though they knew cause i told them last time remember no you said we were going to meet her we haven't met her until right now and so why would they gasp if they knew who it was? And why did they ask? And why was she speaking Orca? I don't know. It's a good thing I didn't sex you. They <sighs> Rufamo did. That didn't stop you guys before. Let's see, you had sex with your mom. You had sex with your sister. You had sex with your brother. I don't see what the difference is having sex with your other sister. They sat down and drank some tea cause they were in British still. You know, they have other drinks other than tea. You know, they have like coffee. They probably have some, maybe not our kind of sodas here in the States, but probably various kinds of soda, probably energy drinks, probably lemonade. 
I was cloned from your DNA, Knight explained, picking up ta creamer. Why would you put creamer in tea? Ew. Of course, I don't like tea anyway. Also, if you weren't cloned from his DNA, you would be a boy. From my Dan? Where did they get it? And how do you know you have a sister if you didn't know she was your clone? Whatever. You lived here. It was easy for Roger to get it from you at night. Roger was a creepy dude. I didn't know Whammy secretly had a cloning factory underneath the orphanage. Of course, if that was true, why didn't they just keep cloning L so they would have multiple L's? <coughs> so what powers do you have, Ponder Dart? Because humans have ma magic powers. Well, technically Beyond Birthday did... But that was never really explained, and as far as I know, that's one person out of the entirety of the human race. Well, my skin is made of Death Note. That's impossible. You can't be made out of paper if you're a clone of a human being. So I can kill people by getting tattoos. If that was true, the person writing on your skin, tattooing your skin, would have to be thinking of somebody that they're tattooing, knowing their name and face the entire time they're making the tattoo. I'm pretty sure their mind is going to wander into other things as they put a tattoo on you. Also, it's going to be a little obvious after a couple of deaths that every time you go and get somebody's name tattooed on you after asking the tattoo artist to specifically remember what their name is, that they're tattooing their name on your arm and what and a picture of what they look like and so they can actually know what this person looks like. And then being reported, probably on the news, that this person died. But that's if you probably go to the same tattoo artist. But again, knowing Kira needs name and face. Yeah, pretty obvious. Also, I will one day sign the song that ends the world. That doesn't make any sense. How can you do that? Cool. Said Nier playing with some toy Legos. <coughs> is it this bad? I mean, it's kind of what Nier's supposed to do is stop these guys. Also, I have Shinigami eyes and ears. So I can hear Peep's thoughts. She locked at Nier. You just think about making a laddie out of Lego and sexing it. Okay, Shinigami have never had that trait with their ears. And are you somehow related to Beyond Birthday or maybe are Beyond Birthday? Because I don't see how else you could have Shinigami eyes naturally. Oh wait, you can't. You're a clone of Dark. <coughs> Nier was em embraced. So he became a ba vampire. Which clan? <coughs> Do you have a Shinigo Shinigami nose too? No, that that is silly. Well, said Dark, putting his tea down on the ground, sipping it on a table, putting his dick in it. What did he do with his tea? Where did he put it? <coughs> that was fun. Let's go sex, Naomi. No, suddenly said a period. Why? As in the letter. Cause. Dot dot dot. I love night now. WTF? Dark exploding jumped over. He exploded. Wow. Rib cage and guts and everything went everywhere. <coughs> Jumping over the walls and smashing some science. No. No. Dark is a nicer dude than me. And also, I'm with an apostrophe. Already in love. Knight mumbled. Because none of this was important and I just didn't really want to say it, but. And I guess I anyway, what a day I treated me such a slut. Ah, oh, this is stupid. What the fucking horse? Okay, we get it. Who dot 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 question mark and dark who already <coughs> knew the answer but wasn't sure. If he already knows the answer, then he is sure. Mellow. Okay, but I killed Mellow question mark because I'm not sure if I did or not by now. <coughs> Are we still four days in the past? Who knows? Well, I guess three days in the past now because they slept. Ha! Huh, I knew it! 
Roared a mystery stranger with blonde hair and a whole bunch of leather jumping out of a test tube. No, dot dot dot, you're dead. Without it being you are, it's just your, yeah. Insert. <coughs> Insert Hawkeye rage. That's what you think, dot dot dot. It was mellow, and he had a life note. Why couldn't he just make a clone? You were implying this a few seconds ago. <coughs> and Elle was there, and Knight was getting a tattoo, and it said, Near! Why? What a twist! Exploding actions next time! Chapter 13, Unlucky Number! Oh my god, face! I have over 2,000 uh, 2, views now! Thanks to all the redders out there. Please review more, though, please. T-H-O. Mellow, Dark Screech. How did- How you did live after I shot at you in the neck and the face and the heart, too? <coughs> well, considering you said he had a light note, li uh, life note last chapter. I made a deal with the dude who saved me with his life knot. No. <coughs> well, why do you have it then? Who? It was I, my traitory friend. Blood, the true king of the Shinigami, unlike you, who is a fake. Well, how is he alive again? Oh, this is being said in quotes, even though <coughs> it's narration. Dart turned round. Standing over him, snarling and dropping bits of blood and slobber, was a fierce dude with twenty feet, uh, with twenty feet tall. Okay, <coughs> so he has twenty feet, and they're very tall. His blood mohawk was bloodier than ever, and there were dead peeps stuck to the spikes, screaming in pain. How they're doing that when they're dead, I do not know. His Tooths had been sharpened, so they were all sharp and bumpy like a saw and strong enough to chop bone or concrete or even diamond, uh, diamond, but he didn't eat them cause they were pricey. Or, you know, he likes blood bananas instead, so that's what he eats. He was wearing a coat of armor made of lava, uh, that would be impossible, with guns, which would be even more impossible since it's lava, since it's lava, and swords and cannons stuck to it. He was driving a motorbike, and it was powered by nuclears, which made it faster. How is this shit inside a building? Because they haven't left yet. He got out a samurai sword and waved it about dangerously. They're called katanas. I will fight for, uh, I will fight, I will fight your... For my honor, or my name isn't Blood Shinigami. Your last name is not Shinigami. Uh, you were already dead, killed by Dark. I don't know how you're king of the Shinigami again when Sayu is queen of the Shinigami. Somehow. And we have more nuclears, which makes everything going on even more impractical to be wearing. <clears throat> He swung his sword real fast at dark and dodged it faster so they were fighting too fast to see. Occasionally, a, a bomb with a bee or a spark went off and made it more exciting and probably should have blown everybody up. And one time, dark did a kamehameha. That's... No. It's kamehameha, nerd. Get your references correct. They stopped for a bit flying in the air as bits of rock and science floated around them. You were a worthy apprentice, my young grasshopper, grasshopper, he said, whipping blood of his mouth. But now you will die it? Cause Dart got very fat while he was king. <coughs> <coughs> Happens to the best of us, you know, we get a shit ton of power and all the guys we could screw, and all the food and booze we could eat and drink, and, you know, you just don't care about exercising anymore because everything's taken care of for you. You know, you have no worries anymore. You don't have rent to pay or a job to get. You're perfectly fine. <coughs> but, you know, when, when you get dethroned, you have to go on the diet because, well, you're too fat to take care of yourself again. 
Better get, better get back on that Jenny Craig. He put the sword away and got out a big mace. He sprayed the mace but missed. Okay. Uh, I would rather this been an awesome ginormous actual mace that I could club people with. But whatever. <coughs> then he got out 17 crossbows because you could do that with two hands. Stuck together with blood and duct tape. That's a really shitty weapon. He fired and arrows went everywhere. <sniffs> Apparently people like wearing arrows lodged into them. And one of him hit Mello. Nobody cares about Mello, so it's just, it hit Mello. <sniffs> you, uh, traitor! <coughs> you traitor, he roared. You, you fuel! I was on Dark's side all along, which is totally why Dark killed you to become Shinigami King. <coughs> That why I didn't eat his head and drink the yummy blood inside. I don't know why you would do that anyway, considering you had blood bananas, but whatever. Oh, and by the way, Dark kicked your ass and killed you. Mela got a bazooka out of his out of hands. <laughs> take off pants, take off pants, take them off, take them off, take off pants. If you don't get that, you really need to go and watch Days of Our Lives, Resident Evil. Oh my god, that is some hilarious shit. Mello got a bazooka out of pants and pointed it at Dark, which I guess his bazooka is his penis, and so he's ready to cock and blow his load all over Dark. <coughs> uh, and pointed it at Dark, who punched it out. Ow! <laughs> I don't want to be punched there, and I'm a girl. <coughs> punched it out of the air, so it went in the sky and hit a bird harmless. If it hit a bird, I don't think it was harmless. Then Mello threw a punch of grenades, but forgot the pin so nothing happened except one hit near, and he got a bruise and cried for an hour. Yo, know, near is not really a sissy. He's pretty fucking intelligent. <coughs> Why did you kill me, you kint? He said with a naughty word, which I can't uh, say because it's T, not M. I don't think somebody understands the rating system. Especially since just because you're censoring one letter of a curse word isn't really censoring it. Because I'm evil. I'm not sure who's saying this. I'm guessing it's Mellow. And Dirk's replying, cause I'm evil. <coughs> cause I'm evil. I don't remember how that song goes now. But I should. Because when I was living with my brother, he played it constantly. And I about killed him for it. <coughs> and then it all made sense. Meow. Yeah, because something like that just, this whole story makes sense. Dart got out a knife from his arm like the Assassin's Creed dude and stand near and stand near near. It's a joke. The heart. I don't know why since Nier wasn't doing anything except crying, but okay. <coughs> um empty quotation. Near wheeze bleeding all over his silk PJs. Why would they be silk? I'd assume he'd wear cotton. Why did de ye oh you Kill me and not like kill L first because I need you for a sacri sacrifice and that sacrifice will kill L for ones and all. Period. Exclamation point. <coughs> you asso, asho, and then he did. Naomi, who was there but not talking because I forgiven her. <laughs> I forgot she was there because she's such an important, essential character to the story. Said, that was so hot, let's sex. <clears throat> Knight finished her tattoo because she has been doing one this whole time, even though I didn't tell you she was. But then it was too late, so she just had a tattoo that said near for no reason. <clears throat> she didn't finish it if she only had near. And that's not even Nate River's name. <sighs> Wait for me, she said, getting off her getting off her shirt so they found a bed in the whammy house <coughs> so they just stopped the fight so they could commit incest even though earlier she didn't want to commit incest with him 
because she was in love with Mellow. Whatever. So they found the bed in the Whammy's house, and it was Roger's. But he didn't know because he busy being a creepy dude in town with a dog. Bestiality. See my other story for that. That te deets. I don't know if you have written other stories. And if you have written him being freaky with a dog, <coughs> it's probably not up on fanfiction.net anymore. Or it's actually not that bad. It's just you thinking it's bad because you're being very ba vague. Being vague, yeah. Dirk and Knight took turns because they were bros. Uh-huh. So she's a hermaphrodite and not a girl? Because they were bros and it would be creepy otherwise. Other ways. Uh, <clears throat> who are they having sex with? You're not really specifying, so I'm assuming they're having, everybody's having sex with each other at the same time. They sexed all through the night. Get it? <coughs> Thanks for pretending to fight me, blood? Question mark, because we weren't really sure if that's what he was doing or not. Dark said, voice firstly the next day while eating some, as in, you know, the sum of a number. Luck, lucky, look, lucky, look, lucky, Harms for breakfast. Burkfast. No probs, bro. If there is anything I can do, who's asking this question? Is it dark? Asking blood something? Could you set me up with your mom? How, how is that going to work? You have no dick. Plus, it's forbidden of you to have sex. Dark punch, blood, be blood. Cause he was the only guy allowed to make your mom jokes about Light's mom. So he, <coughs> so which guy was allowed to make the your mom jokes about Light's mom? And why is it Light's mom? Should it be Dark's mom as well? And you can o you're only allowed, you know, to make these aloud as in speaking them. So anybody can think them, but nobody can say them aloud except for either dark or blood. We're not sure which one. Okay, then could you buy me all the blood bananas in the wor in the word? How can he buy them? You got them from the Shinigami realm because you were king. So shouldn't you guys go ask Sayu for the blood bananas since she's now queen of the Shinigami? <coughs> so Dart got on the plane to a rare island in Russia, which... Which which was the only place where they grew and bide them all and gave them and gave them to Blood who went to town on them but not literally cause that wouldn't make sense. I don't know, nothing else in this story makes sense, so why shouldn't the Shinigami bone some blood bananas? Now sis and Naomi, let's do a sacrifice. Why? Because I want to make an anti-life note, which can kill dudes and stomp them getting life noted back, which is a pain in the ass, and do that I need the blood of a virgin. Well, these guys aren't going to work because they're not virgin. You had sex with them. Also, you have the everything note. What do you need another notebook for? You have the everything note. Don't you still have that? You never said you got rid of it. He got near out of his prison. He was in prison? Why? <coughs> Where are you taking me? How do you guys know he's a virgin? Where are you guys taking me? He wet his pants saying. Why would he do that? To the sacrifice room. The sacrifice room was very pretty and had nice wallpaper, but... Now it was all ruined with blood and pain and dead people's hands on the walls. So you killed more people than near in this room. <coughs> Knight was drawed a pentagon, a pentagon on herself with a tattoo pin. Did she make one like in a prison or something when she got near out of it? T with a tattoo pin and it became a Portal to the Shinigami land? How? And that's not how that works. You have blood with you. Dark is a Shinigami now. You all can just go if you want to. Dark drank some of Nier's blood and spat it out cause it was gross. Then why did you drink it? And it hit a 
book and magized it into a the uh, anti life note. Let's get this bad boy tried out, Dark Lord. He gived it to Knight who written on it. Near, didn't you guys just kill Near for a sacrifice? Near died, even though he should have been already dead to start with for the sacrifice. Then they got a life note and nothing happened. He was dead. He was dead forever? Question mark. Confused, drip, sweat dripping face. Shocking. Now I can kill L once and for all. Even though I think you did that and then he was life noted back, but I don't really remember and it's not like it matters. He wrote L in the anti-live note, but nothing happened because it was not the royal death note and he didn't, didn't know the real name. I'm thinking he did, but I can't remember. Frick, he sighed. I will have to go on a quest to find his real name. Questioning action granted next time on Light and Dark, the adventures, adventure, adventures of Dark Yagami and Night Yagami 2. Tell your feeds to cause they will love it and it seems to be popular now. Chapter 14, L dies, but that's a twist. And you just spoiled it for me. Just a short chapter, uh, chapter this time, but big stuff happens. There was a phone call, and Elle's phone rang. Hello, my name is Brian Superman. Is this Elle? Why, yes it is, screamed Elle into the phone for some reason. The other guy is now deaf. You may have already won a trip to Florida for three. Uh, okay. I guess this is a telemarketer trying to sell you something. OMG, that is so, that is so sweet, El bellowed. I will take Watari, who is like my dad, only he's not also, what? That is so sweet, El bellowed. I will take Watari, who is like my dad, only he's not also like who, who am fucking. Okay, I understand now. Thought we were trying to say... I will take Watari, who's actually Light's dad, something about fucking. <laughs> I was so confused. All we need to know is your real name, said the Brian. Well, if you say so, my real name is Lindell Taylor. Duh. Hey, wait a minute. This is a, this is a trick. How, you, wasn't that the whole point of letting people know what Lindell Taylor's real name and face was? To so that he could lie and say he was L, so Kira would kill him and thus give away the, the region he lives in. I'm not telling you my real name cause you will death note me and stuff. Even though you didn't give your real name, you gave somebody else's name. Dumb, he's on me, Dark bellowed and hang up. I, I'm not sure if L was incredibly stupid there or incredibly smart. The same thing goes with Dark. Because, you know, that's how I get information I want. I call people uh, late at night, and I ask them in my scary voice, Is your refrigerator running? <laughs> well, you better go catch it before it gets away. Click! That's how I get my shits and giggles when I'm not reading shitty fanfiction stuck in hell. Let me try, said Knight, all in the same quotation. They got... On the two, back to the town where Elle was. Wasn't Elle still in America somewhere, for some reason? The doorbell said, ding dong, because it doesn't make a sound. It actually talks to you when somebody comes up to your door, so you know somebody's there. I will get it, Elle said. Why wouldn't Watari or somebody else get the door? Why is Elle going to answer it? I will get it, Elle said. As he skipped all dainty to the door, Knight was there and she was all naked. Because you would just get naked in public like that and stand at somebody's door. I will sex with you if you tell me your real name, she spoke all sexy style. Nobody would do this, especially if the death note was a real thing. Sorry, but I'm gay. And slammed the door in her face. <laughs> So Knight cut her hair and took off her lipstick and got a tattoo that, that said, I'm a dude, because 
writing somewhere on your body that says, I am a dude, suddenly makes you have a dick and no boobs. Hello, you sexy man, said L. <laughs> and let her in because she was naked and looked like a guy. No, I'm pretty sure she's got tits and vagina. Hard to miss. They went across the apartment, which was full of old candies and foods and candies, which you already said, and stuff that L had eated fast over the years but forgot it and made the place all sticky. I would think Watari would clean that crap up, but okay. Also, if he's eating all of that, how's it still there to melt and make things sticky? Is he just like putting it in his mouth and then slobbering it all over everything? Ew. On the floor was a life note, so she gra grabbed it and stuffed it in her bra, which totally explains to me that she is not a dude, and if she's wearing a bra to hold up her boobs, how is Elle missing this? Also, Elle is going to notice you stuffed a freaking notebook into your bra, unless it's like a little pocket notebook, but even so, that shit is clinging on your boobs so i'm pretty sure it's going to be obvious that you put a book in your bra against your boobs that you apparently don't have now because somehow you are a dude by tattooing i am a guy on your chest or something they gay sexed for ages and ages until l told her his real name only it wasn't because he was smart and gived her a fake so she couldn't kill him which is why he's like the smartest dude in America. There's so much wrong with this sentence. You can't have gay sex if you're a dude and a woman having sex. You can do it up her butt. She can peg you. But that's not really gay sex. If one of you is a different gender than the other. We already know that Elle did not tell anybody what his real name was the first time. I don't know why they think this is going to work now. L is the smartest dude, not in just America, but the entire world. He masquerades as three different detectives. L, number one, and then the other two who I forget. Some One of them's like El Dorado or something. I don't know. And like Coil or something. I'm not sure. Like a French detective... And I don't remember if the other one was supposed to be American or not. So her plan failed, and then it was Nier's turn. Nier's dead. And because you have the anti-life note now, Nier can't ever come back. He's dead. For real. So how did he come back? And why would he help with this plan? So her plan failed, and then it was Nier's turn. But no one cares about him, and it was something lame about magic robots or something so let's not talk about that, <coughs> even though that probably would have been really cool. Dark was all pissed off because his anti-life note was useless, uh, apparently, because Nier somehow got resurrected. Frick! He screamed so loud that a church blew up. Holy crap, is he suddenly the big bad wolf now? Now how can I kill the dude? Wait, he thought, I'm the second smartest dude in America. No, you live in Japan. Well, technically England, since somehow you were part of the Whammy's house, even though you weren't actually an orphan. I can make da -da -da, a plan! How is this different from any other plans? Just because those plans were planes? I guess. So he placed, so he planned all night and even stopped sexing with rock stars. Like Hannah <laughs> Montana. <laughs> so he could do more planning. Uh, Hannah Montana isn't a rock star. She's more like teen bop from what I remember. Uh, 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 I don't want to imagine that. That is just so wrong. The next day, he had a plan. I will steal his life note and then use my royal death note. Was his plan. That's not really a plan. That's just you going, I'm going to go steal that shit. And then... I don't know, do something with it, I guess. Masturbate with them, I don't know. The paper feels good on my dick. It it did it like 35 minutes ago, repelled Knight getting it out of her bra. What happened? 
that you guys stole it? I don't understand. What happened to the anything note? Getting it out of her bra because... Because Elle didn't notice you stole that. Dirt got all pissy because he was now not the second smartest dude in America. How does that prove she's smarter than you? And Knight wasn't even a dude, even though she wrote, I am a guy somewhere on her body, which made her a guy. Unless that was just an illusion she casted. Though I'm pretty sure, despite illusion, when L touches chest or touches crotch, he's going to feel that there's something quite different about this guy. Almost like it doesn't have the right parts and it has too many wrong parts to be a dude. And Knight wasn't even a dude, even though she had a tattoo that said she did. She did what? Cause that tattoo was just a lie meant to trick L. Not something true or something. Period. Dirt got his royal death note and wrote, L dies right now or my name isn't Dark Yagami! If you put your name in the death note, you'll die too. Though technically you're Shinigami, so I don't think it works like that. Then L died. You killed me, said L's ghost sadly. Everyone was sad except for the dudes that hated L, which was al almost everyone, so I should have said no one was sad, which was true, and there were big parties on the streets. Wouldn't his lover miss him, or Watari, or Soichiro? Why am I even trying? Without L, Dark, and Light, and Misa, and also Yotsuba... I don't even remember what happened to him. I think he was supposed to be dead or something. And Knight and that ex-Kira dude no one's heard of were able to go all Kira and kill loads of evil dudes. Then one day... Surprise face, surprise face, surprise face, really surprise face. Dirk was out on his yacht on the sea. It was a big yacht and had a sail and Dirk was wearing a so uh, a Siler hat. Oh, so he ha he has Siler from Heroes powers. I see, I see. Hat cause it made him more of a Siler and he was the captain. Well, if it's his yacht, I assume he's the captain. But can you have a captain of a yacht? He did a Titanic thing in front in front with Naomi was thought she was flying cause she's a bit dumb. Then why are we allying ourselves with her? Suddenly there was a bubble. A notebook floated to the top. Dark jumped in and found it. I don't see how he could find it if he saw it floating on the top. It's kind of there. It was a talk to dead dudes note. And it worked a bit like MSN or something. You have a fucking anything note. Did you forget this? Would you leave it in the future or something? I don't understand. Dark opened it. He saw someone had written had ridded. Hi, I'm dead. Age, sex, location, invalid. He wrote back, 17, male, my yacht. Age, sex, location, 26, it, male, dead. Dark pondered for a minute. He knew a certain dude like that, and that dude was L. But who was it? Well, the author just spoiled it for us again. It's apparently L. Are you L, lol? Yep. WTF. You killed me and now I can my revenge. What a freaking twist. Say, say tune for my next cha chapter, The Haunting of Dark Yagami. It will be sweet. El is going to be a ghost and he's going to be haunting shit. It'll be so sweet to read it, but not yet because it doesn't exist yet, except if it does at all. Chapter 15, The Hunting of Dark Yagami? Hey, more stuff finally. Sorry it talks so long, lol. But now I have summer va vacation and it's writing time. As in, right. You're right. I'm wrong. L was sad because he dead. There was dead dudes everywhere. Leak, zombies, and vampires, and ghosts, and some dude who was just dead. What? All of these guys are dead. They are just dead. Unless you mean he's not moving. In which case, why would he be there? Whatever. Then one day he found a talk to not dead dude's note. <laughs> uh, this is just 
dumb. And then something happened. You've already read as in the color. It cause it was in the last chap, lol. Yeah. So, uh, I'm glad you're not going to bother to reiterate it. So, N-Y-L was all angry and stuff cause Dark had killed him. He got on the magic train. The magic train. <coughs> Is it like the magic school bus? Because the magic school bus was kind of awesome. To the middle of heaven. Heaven does not exist in the Death Note universe. Which was one of those Japanish trains that goes... Why is he on a Japanese train if if he was supposed to be in America? Wouldn't he be in the American afterlife? Whatever. <coughs> that goes very fast and it took... And it only took a second. It only took a second. Because it was powered by nuclears. We're back to the nuclears and magic again. Why? It was powered by nuclears and magic. He went in sides and shouted. I'm Al and I'm freaked up with being dead. Um, I don't think Ella could do that, but okay. <coughs> Make me health, health, I agon. Or I will shoot you in the nose. Because he has a gun or something in the afterlife. Like, dead people care about getting shot. He shouted at God, who got all scared. <laughs> I'm sure God gives a crap. I am God, and you will and will let you go home on one condition. Screamed God, getting out his life note. Because God himself would have this and not Shinigami. <coughs> you will use your powers to kill with one L. Light a Yanami. L was sh L was shicked. <laughs> what? L was shicked. I can't kill my girlfriend? No, your boyfriend. Unless you're cheating on Light. And this is a completely different person. I can't kill my girlfriend. El roared. He pulled a swish army not a swish army niff out of his pocket and waved the pointy around to Scar God because he can do that. And I'm pretty sure, whatever. I'm not even going to try to reason this. He wants to rule the word. God said, scarred, running away from the niff. Oh, sorry, I will do it then, or my name isn't L, which it isn't, which it actually is, but I can't tell my real name in case it gets death noted again, and this time for real. So the first time Dart killed you wasn't for real? That doesn't make any sense, and if he, he already knows your real name, that's how he killed you. Ugh. But I need your real name to use the life note, panicked God, who should know this, being God and all. In instead, I will use my ghost note, cause that is like a royal death note, except without the death and with some ghosts instead. <coughs> what does it matter? You still need people's names to use all of these notebooks. Also, I got ghost noted and turned into a ghost. It made him all funny and shiny like water, but also slimy like Slimer. Ew. So, L's now like a ginormous green booger. <coughs> ha, a uh, ha, wait. Ha, a uh, ha. I lied. I won't kill with one L. Light, ill, kill his bro. Dot, dot, dot. Dark. Frick, roared God as Dark ran away. How did Dark get there? He was, he was God, so he didn't swear, except now he did. That doesn't make any sense. On a boot! Get it? It's a song, and it rocks. Look it up. <coughs> Dark was wetting his pants like he never wet them before, which he didn't cause he was old, but not so old he wet his pants. If he's scared, you can just say he's scared. And if he's not actually scared, just say he's not scared. <coughs> a ghost? That sort of thing was Im imposable. Because Shinigami were imposable too, right? 
but those are totally real. In fact, you are a Shinigami. Blood, you fat pies of frick. Come out, as in sperm. Blood stopped swimming in the pool on the yacht, on the yacht, which was full of blood because he swam in it a lot and liked blood, which is where he got the name and also because it sounds cool. That would be gross, swimming in blood. How would you keep it from clotting? Ew, I don't want to imagine swimming in blood. That is gross. Do ghosts exist? Oh, no, do ghosts exit? They do not, my good young friend, uh, friend, because that sort of thing is impossible? Question mark, because we're not sure if what we're saying is truth or not. <coughs> Even though you're a freaking Shinigami and should know all this crap. But you're a Shinigami, aren't you Im imposable too? Didn't I just bring this up? The fake is doing my job for me. No, cause this is the death not world where Shinigami are posable. You're on Earth. You're not in the Shinigami realm. I am confused. I see, I hop. You're right. I don't want to find a bunch of ghosts coming all over the deck. That's a lot of milk. Such a lot of milk all over the place. Over the railings, on the folding chairs, in that martini over there, the lifesaver. Hit T I don't even know how to say that. <coughs> THT will not happen because they don't. But he said too soon. A ghost came. Aw, oh, now he's gotta clean that up. And it was lowercase L. I guess. Or is that an I? Who knows? WTF? Question mark. Scream. Dark scrammed. I am a ghost. L said ghostly and waved his arms to be scary. Because that's how ghosts are scary. You know, they're not scary on their own. Being the fact that they're see-through. He was covered in ghost magics. And ectoplasm. Uh, and a mess on the deck where he had came. I just make him clean it up, because if, if he came that much, I just make him clean it up. Not so fat, dark. Just dark. <coughs> he jumped in a jet ski and raced away. How does that work? And where does he have a jet ski on the on a freaking yacht? L jumped on a ghost banana boat and flowed. What? Blood was sad because it was not a blood banana but tried to eat it anyway. They zoomed down the sea. What? Well, okay. They zoomed down the sea past a fish. Where? Wait. Something I didn't bring up before that I'm just now realizing. How big is this yacht? Because it said blood was swimming in blood. Does this yacht have its own pool? I don't know anything about yachts, but can yachts do that? Otherwise, you'd be swimming out in the ocean unless they were docked. Whatever. Uh, they zoomed down the sea past a fish. There was boats full of people watching because they were the fastest jet skis ever. Apparently they're in a place with a lot of people, so maybe they are docked. I don't know. They did a bunch of jumps over a wall and cruise boat, but missed some sharks and didn't jump them. It's an internet thingy. Yes. Yes, uh. I I'm sure it is. Though I'm pretty sure jumping the shark existed before the internet. Then a pirate came. What? And they were modern pirates with guns and rockets and taking over oil tanks lick those guys on TV. Well, there are such a thing as modern day pirates. I don't know if they have rocket launchers though, but they might. Yeah! One said and played with his parrot. They really wouldn't have a parrot. Fire the cannons! Because they would not ha They would have cannons in a modern little rowboat that they're probably using to uh, get on cruise ships and all that. So they all picked up a bunch of bazookers and shooted them. Explosions went everywhere and one hit I, but he was a ghost. <coughs> <coughs> But he was a ghost, and it can't hit him, and he's safe, so don't worry, cause Dark's the hero, 
of the story anyway. Well, if L's the bad guy, what do I care about? Whatever. Pieces of eight. What kind of a phrase is that? Pieces of eight, one said, sad as Dart pulled a Uzi, an Uzi, out and went fast at them, screeching like Rambo. The boat exploded and bits of wood. <clears throat> the boat exploded and bits of wood and gold and treasure and oil fails from the sky and dudes in the street stopped to pick it up. How do you pick up oil? And wouldn't that be bad for the sea life? Pick it up and made them rich and a car almost crash in <coughs> in thick hoss but then didn't didn't dark and i race uh race their boats through a tunnel and found them in that city place in europe with the boats uh-huh and the rivers and the stuff i don't know what it's called <coughs> have you tried italy what Ray? oh thought you were commenting on the story they zoomed around making everyone wet oh my they smashed through billboard of... How is there a billboard on water? They smashed through billboard of a naked lady... Oh, you actually spelled lady right for once. <coughs> and zoomed down the water highway, overtaking and shooting everywhere, and fires went, and boats exploded everywhere, and excitement happened. Some dude was swimming and splatted. I don't think he'd be swimming in the channels. He was hit by a jet ski, but then came okay. Because that's what matters, is that he can masturbate well. Then the boats ran out of gas and started to sink. Because it's what happens when you're on a boat and you run out of gas. You sink. In the middle of the highway! Because that, not, not like you could get, you know, tugged or anything by another boat. Dirk had to jump out and jumped over the other cars. There wouldn't be cars in the rivers. And boats to the shore. There wouldn't be a shore. El could ghost and he filled over. Why are you chasing me, said Dark? Because you killed me. It wasn't me, lied Dark. Who was it then? My sister, Night Yagami. Then we kill her. I agree, said Blood, eating a blood banana boat. Because somehow he has that now. And also where the hell did he come from? I hated the character of Nai even if she's sexy. So I kill her next time. Is this good? Yes! One. If you didn't like her, why even put her in the story and include her in the first place? Chapter 16. Good night, Night. It's a pun. Yes, I, I've, I wouldn't be able to know all your witty puns without you telling me that they're puns. Some guy told me that I'm on TV Tropes now, which is like a Wikipedia, but for TV or something. This, this a famous story, but I won't let it go to my head, even if I'm Osium. I'm not on TV, but I guess Death Note is, and that's why they licked it like it's a stamp. This chat per has some sexy in it, so not for the kitties. Night was naked because she was sexy because you're you you're naked because you're sexy. That's the reason why you get naked. Not to change clothes, not to take a shower, not because you're trying to whatever, who cares? And getting tattoos that death noted evil dudes and some evil chicks too. Dark and L were hiding in the tree uh yeah, the tree outside her mansion with a binocular and a bunch of Japanish swords and guns and a nuclear that L had stilled from the Japan army. Because that's a thing that can happen. She is nakes, Dark said, given L the binocular. He could have kept staring, staring but didn't cause it was his colon, cool on and that's like a sister, and that's gross. It did not stop you from the incestuous orgy earlier, or the, the sex you had with both her and Naomi earlier in the story. Elle watched Night naked and got all happy, but I thought he was gay. And when she showed up at his door, he shut the door in her face because he said he was gay. Then they made a plane. 
out of the spare parts they happened to have. It was entirely made of the tree. Ding dong, said the doorbell, because doorbells speak. Knight opened the door, and it was L. I see you're naked, L leached at her, <laughs> because she wouldn't put on clothes or something to answer the door. Also, good going, guys. Now she knows you're peeping on her, and she's going to probably call the cops or kill you. I am also naked, he said, taking of his shirt to reveal his abs underneath. She would have already known this, and I thought you were a ghost. They were tough and bumpy because he worked out for like 20 hour hours a day. <coughs> That's impossible. Night was lal turn on because she had never sexed with, but I... Uh, sexed with I, but she had gay sexed. You, I've been over this. You can't do that if you're with somebody of the opposite gender. That is hetero. That is not gay sex. Even if you do it up each other's butts, it is still straight sex. Author's note, back in chapter 14, lol. But he didn't know, and which, because that was not obvious that she was, she just wrote, I'm a dude on herself. That doesn't make her a dude. But he didn't know, and that was different. Take away his jeans. What? But he didn't know, and that was different. Tact. Take away his jeans, and not his shoes, because he didn't wear them. I don't even know what that sentence is trying to say. They wet inside, so they peed once, once they got inside the house. As Dark watched from the window, lick a creepy dude. Because this whole thing isn't creepy to start with. Knight's room was big and all fluffy and girly. On the walls were some pictures of puppies and also some science cause she was that brainy. Her bed was all big and fluffy and soft and there was a curtain around it like in Harry Potter. You can't just say she had a canopy bed. You want to sex with me? She said, not asked, and definitely not with any punctuation, in a sexy voice that made, made eyes, I guess that's supposed to be a lowercase l, made eyes man thingy, man thing. It made it. I see, so he didn't have one either, even though he was supposedly gay, and was able to have gay sex with a woman, which is impossible to have gay sex with if he's a dude and she's a girl. How you know? He screamed uh, because you came up to her door and said you're naked and I'm naked and yeah. She pointed to her ears which were Shinigami ears and could hear brains. That's not how stuff works. I can hear your forts. I see. So L's everything is completely compromised. L rolled and she put him on the bed and they started to sex. At first, they only sexed a bit, but then they sexed more because Dark needed a uh, break and needed to break in as, as in your car breaks. And Elle had to make a bunch of noise so she would, as in a piece of tree, not hear the smashy bits. Which, you know, I'm sure she didn't hear at all being, you know, it'd be quite obvious somebody's breaking into her house. I'm glad she thinks I'm just sexing with her and and don't not know and don't not know I want to kill her for making me a ghost. Which I don't even know how you're having sex with anybody because you are a ghost. He thinked, didn't we just establish that she can hear your thoughts? So why would you think that? Wouldn't, shouldn't that be like as far away from your mind as possible so she doesn't hear you? Then he remembered the ears she just told him about, but forgot cause he's a silly and not too good at being a cop. Even though he's the number one, number two, and number three detective in the entire world. He just forgets cause he's stupid. Yeah, that's totally L in a nutshell. What the frick? She shouted throwing the bunchy scruffed up dete detective man on the floor. She got on a martial arts dressing gown because you have to, you know, go from being naked to into a martial arts costume 
to kick somebody's ass for trying to kill you. And got it on and started karateing poor L. He, he used his Brazil dancing from the Beyond Birthday book. <laughs> no, no, that's not what that is. That isn't what that is. That is so not what that is. Oh, you're an idiot. <sighs> from the Beyond Birthday book and fighted her back harder. There were punches and kicks flying everywhere and stuff got smashed. A fire started when Ai's fist smashed a science thing full of nuclears because somehow she'd have nuclear technology in her mansion just happens to have it about. But then Knight punched him hard on the man thing and he cried and the cries put out the fire. So not his tears, which would be impossible to put out a nuclear fire, but his crying put it out. The sound of his voice extinguished the fire. The fighting all inert, intense, and the clo cloths fall, uh, cloths fell of, and they got all turned on and started sexing again. Because that's what you do with guys who want to kill you. Then Dark jump, jumped it in with a Samri sword on each hand, not in each hand, but on, on his hand. So I guess, you know, he's, he's trying to balance them. And another between his teeth. Well, that's not cliched at all. And technically you would do that with a combat knife, but what does this person know? No, don't kill her because I love her now. That's not how shit works. And what happened to Light being your boyfriend? I don't understand. L shooted, but it was too late, and Dark jumped on the bed. Knight and L both grabbed two swords each and started fighting back. Where did she get swords from? Did he just give them to her? And started fighting back, but Dark was so could he good when even with one sword le uh, su sword less. They slashed about a lot, and the dovet of the bed got all slashed up, and so did Knight's clothes cloths, even though she took them off and should be naked now. So she was naked, but she didn't care cause she knew she had to fight for her life things got more awesome and they were fighting on the roof and there was lightning all around and winds blew everyone's hair uh, around and also blew away the sheet knight the sheet knight was okay the sheet knight was using not to oh okay the sheet knight was using not to be naked well I guess she didn't really hold on to it that much and wouldn't that like not be conductive to fighting because I'd imagine there'd be more in the way. And thunder smashed the roof of the building. Why? You didn't say it was about the storm or anything. And bits of tile flew everywhere and it was very scary. Like if you've ever jumped in front of a bus, why would I do that? And the bus was being driven by Satan. <laughs> what? And there was a dead frog on the front and fire instead of a windscreen. That's how scary it was. Is this from a movie or something you're talking about now? Then Dirk screamed and spat out the sword in his mouth and it went through eye, eye with a splat and then it hit Knight to like a kebab and they both fell screaming. They hit the, they hit the ground a thousand foot down because their building's that tall. You know, just a casual house. And died together, which which was sort of sweet. Wait, what? So, wait, L is fighting Y if he loves her. And he was already dead, so how could this be kind of sweet, even though it's not? It's just really sad and stupid. Then I remember he was a ghost and couldn't die. Author's note. I forgot so's. Still, it's fixed now, lol. Not really. That just means his girlfriend died. Because apparently L isn't gay, he's bisexual. He cried a bit, then remembered she killed him and happied, because that's how crap works. She killed me, so let's go kill her. I'm gonna have sex with her because I'm a ghost. And then I'm gonna fall in love with her, even though we're here to kill her. And then Dark's going to attack her, and then I'm going to join the fight and fight her too. And then we're going to fall to our deaths, all romantic style. Except that it's not, because I'm a ghost, and I can't die, and also I wanted her dead, really. What? Even though he, she 
didn't really. It was dark. We know this. We read this. Now I've helped you. You need to help me, my crime-solving friend, Dirk said, getting back his sword. Why would he do this? He's a ghost. I'll do anything, even though he shouldn't want to do anything. El gushed like he loved Dirk, which maybe he did a little, but not really because Dirk's not gay. Seriously! Even though he had sex with his brother, that doesn't make him gay or incestuous. I need you to help me stop Sayu being queen of the Shinigami. Oh, you remember that, even though blood showed back up and said he was king of the Shinigami. Whatever. And make me it instead, he demanded, punching L to make him clearer. Because that's what I do when I want somebody's help. I just punch them in the face. Your sister! What about her? Not anymore! He smirked with evil. I'm going to kill some dudes! L looked round, scarred. Dark, dark had flipped his shit. You mean Kira wasn't already crazy to start with? Anything could happen next! Evil anything! Cliffhanger alert! I won't kill Sayu because I like riding her, but there will be some violent, uh, violent, yeah, you actually spelled violent this time. Violent next times! Chapter 17. Matsuda sees some stuff. Matsuda is Japanish and I mentioned him yet, so here you go! In Tokyo, it's the big city of Japan. Because I guess Japan is with a much smaller population than expected. So it's Japan's only big city. Don't you know? Everyone was dead scared, uh, dead scared because Dark had said he was gonna kill some dudes. He, he was accidentally TV at the time all over Japan like Lind Taylor was the show. Uh... He was accidentally on TV because he said he's going to kill some dudes. What does it matter? Shouldn't he be doing this as Kira or something? Whatever. Matsuda was a cop and he saw it. Okay. Then Dark gotted out his royal death note and started writing dudes in it. He didn't know their names, but it didn't matter because it's the royal death note, remember, lol? <coughs> because you just kill some people, but you don't know anything about them but you can kill people with it. Matsuda saw it and wet his pants cause he, cause he scarred easy. Oh no, he giggled. Dark is going to ki uh, kill us. Dark zapped to Tokyo with the teleport note <coughs> and landed outside the cop place. We don't know what the police station is, so it's the cop place. Wait. How could he see this if he was not in the same location that Suda was? Matsuda was there and saw it. Apparently, I guess he teleported with them. I don't know. Dead dudes were everywhere and Dark had to kick them out of the way to get to the police bus because there's a police bus thing so he could ram into the building without dying for some reason. He's a Shinigami. He can't die. As long as he writes names in the notebook, he can't die. Author's note. I didn't get that bit lol. Why did the dudes all die except Soichiro? Please tell me. What dudes? Are you talking about when the FBI agents died? Soichiro's not an FBI agent. He's not an FBI agent. Yes, he is more than one FBI agent. I'm a dumbass. The bus hit the wall with a boom, smash, boom, and Matsuda saw it and tried to wet his pants again, but couldn't because he didn't drink enough. Drink enough what? Beer, soda, tea, coffee? Dark went to the TV place and got the TV and said, <coughs> which I guess he means Sakura TV, and said, I will writ everyone in the world except Dark. Good job staying anonymous, you idiot. In my royal death note, unless the queen of the Shinigami challenge me to a duel. What would Sayu care about the human world? With the exception of there would be no humans for Shinigami to write down in a notebook. And what does it matter if it's on TV or not? 
shouldn't he just go and challenge her and be like, look, I'll kill off everybody if you don't do my bidding or something. Everyone in the world saw it, even Matsuda, who didn't usually watch TV because he was a cop. Because cops never watch TV. They just live at the police station and work all the time. In the Shinigami world! My ear is itchy. Sayu was now called Sa Say Yi Say Say Why You and was watching Housewives of New Jersey or something girly like that because you can get TV in the Shinigami world. Then Nart took Hoover Wover the TV and she saw him try to kill everyone, even her bro and Light's mom. Who isn't her mom, by the way, who also isn't who and Dark also isn't her brother as well. I will have to fight him, or my name isn't Sayu Yagami, which it's not anymore because now it is little S A uh curvy little line thingy little Y apostrophe capital U anime Why would you name yourself anime? I don't know. Oh, after I married Misa in Massachusetts, her name is not anime, it's Ayame. Eh, whatever. She took everything, she took the everything note, because somehow she has it now, out of her purse, out of her purse, and got a pin made of magic and vampire blood, because there's such a thing, and writ, fly to Tokyo! Because she couldn't teleport there for some reason. Back in Tokyo, saw why you land with a splat on the big crossword, oh, cross, cross road in the middle of the city. The only guy was alive in the area was Matsuda, who saw it happen, as he's just kind of watching everything happen. <coughs> she didn't see him, though, and got naked for battle, and he also saw it. Why would you get naked for battle? Bro! She roared as Dark jumped out of the tower and hit the floor in front. Lucky Dark writ his name in the life note and didn't die. Which he can't die. He's a Shinigami. Time for that Shinigami fight I, th I thought was dumb earlier. He bellowed, getting out a grenade. Shouldn't it be the author bellowed? As he gave Dark suddenly a grenade? The grenade made a bit of a boom, but not big, but not a big one. <coughs> it's kind of a grenade. It's going to blow up everything around it. And Sai Yu punched Dark in the face. Oh, in the face! There was epic fighting and punches and kicks, and Dark had a headbutt, but it missed his hair. Shouldn't it be more like it missed his head? Anyway, Sai Yu was losing, so she taped out the everything note and writ make me better at fights and she was still losing so she wrote it again and started to win that's pretty bad <coughs> and whatever i'm not going to try to make logic out of it make sense out of it a bunch of peeps saw and fort she was godzilla cause towers kept exploding with booms and glass everywhere and sometimes bits of desk fell and broke cars one hit matsuda's car he saw it and screamed. What the frigging hap- That's not a bad word. You're, you're censoring a word that is not a bad word. What the frig happen happened to my car? He said, girly, and cried. You know what happened to your car. You just watched it happen. The author said so. I dropped a desk on it, but that's not important right now. Sai Yu said and didn't know- who the screamy guy was because she never met Matsuda before even though he was kind of a big part of the Yam of the Yagami family but wanted to happy him so and happy him up anyway. <coughs> Matsuda saw it and knew as in a new car what had to be done and climbed up her to help with a big police gun. What's that going to do to Shinigami? It goes right through them. He turned it to the biggest setting because it's a ray gun, apparently. And a cop car jumped out and hit dark and explode. From the gun? Where did that come from? What the frick? Dark roared as an arm blew off. 
because that can happen to a Shinigami. Then another and another and another until dark was blue to little bit little bits <coughs> of splattery that squished on the road. Matsuda saw it and threw it up everywhere, but not on say you cause cost hats gross. Thank you, said Matsuda. Author's note, Japanish for Saint Matsuda, like Francisco? No, it's not. I will make you my wife, my whiff, even though I'm already married to Misa somehow. Se uh, yay, said Matsuda with a happy dance, which made her laugh, and then he fell off and dead. Couldn't she just life note him back? In the confusion, Dirk stole the everything note and ran away and writ, I am the king of the Shinigami again. And he became Dark Agen, and Saiwayu became Sayu. Oh, frick, said Sayu, who ran back home. She's still a Shinigami, so why couldn't she just go back to the Shinigami realm? With a thunder and lightning, Blood ma uh, magized himself in front of Da... Da... Uik. You have learned well from me, he whispered like a, like moldy bread. Ew, how does moldy bread whisper? <coughs> whisper while screaming, while screaming. Learned well like a fox who went to school, uh, went to school and did well and then went to college. I know, da uh, Dark replied and did so an awesome stand like, Phoenix right. That's not how you spell Phoenix, and that's the wrong right. Now you will, st now you will stand down and become president or something, cause I am the true king. I can't. D D Ark screamed. Then face the punishings. And Dark got swooshed into heaven. Even though he was already dead in the Shinigami, and that can't happen because there is no heaven and death note. Thanks, L. Blued said while eating a bunch of blood bananas and a blood banana darky. No prob, answered the ghost. Now I just has to kill Light Yagami. Remember God told L to kill Light. Turns out the he was right. More next time, as in your neck. What does it matter if you're going to kill White now? I mean, I don't, I don't, I uh, yeah, this is a this is one hell of a story, I'll say that. That's not a compliment. Chapter 18, When It All Changes! Light was skipping in the park when a snipe happened, and now he did. That was easy, said L, dropping the stripper gun and giving it back to Watari. Bloody thank you, you bumbling bugger! He Britished, playing with his beardy thing. Um, okay. What? Does we do now? L asked, putting down the putting down the snipe. In my country, England, we would celebrate with a pint of frosty ale, but yo you o are too small, so we'll have to drink coke. L is twenty one, and also, if this was a thing in England, wouldn't L know this? Being from England, whatever. L was all sad but happy cause the wobbly police boy loved sugar stuff. How how was he sad that they're celebrating and he's getting a soda? Or cocaine maybe. We, we're, I'm not sure at this point. Then they went home and drank L and coke and partied into night. But then L found a li lift 3E note and accidentally writ light in it. Why Why would he accidentally do it? Wouldn't he know what that is? I guess he didn't know since it had three in the title. And he is dead. He's a ghost. How can he enjoy any of this anyway or even use a stripper gun? <coughs> Frig! He roared as the guy came back to live. In the park! OMG! WTF! Like, didn't know, as in negative why he had come back to live, but someone was going to pay for shooting him, for shotting him. He sniffed some flowers, so he bought somebody was making fajitas or something, and they were making their own tortillas, so he just, like, snuffed 
sniffed some flour up his nose, I guess, and then ran to his evil base to plan. <clears throat> Even though he's supposed to be L's boyfriend, whatever. Here he had computers and lasers and a nuclear and an Xbox 360. He put the pencil in the door. Why would he do that? And the bag of gas in his desk to double stop being seen. No, that was to stop people from <coughs> to stop people from finding the notebook and seeing a Shinigami and thus discovering he was Kira and having evidence against him. Here he planned. He worked for hours as in me and you and hours as in me and you to come up with an evil scheme because everything has to be evil that no one would guess like even the cops and L and those kitty guys and beyond birthday who should be dead by this point working together wouldn't be able to work out how L got dead. So I guess you don't know he's already dead and a ghost. I know L would be dead but imagine he isn't except then there'd be no reason to work it out so I don't know so I don't know he came back with a time machine to guess how I died. I don't know. It's not my story. It is but I don't care. Then why are you still writing it and did you did somebody write this and you're just like well I'm gonna hack into their account and take over and write a bunch of bull crap and who died who are we saying died but d apparently isn't dead I, I guess you're saying l whatever it doesn't matter tomorrow so we're seeing the future before it actually happens light was standing a foot behind l wait oh someone threw a niff at l but missed well i guess who that was guess who that was um um hmm. i don't know could it be dark yagami surely it wasn't light he'd never do that frick my plan is ruined the light shooted as loud as he can and ran away so he could call all the attention to himself and thus l has no doubt in his mind that it was light doing that did someone try to kill me l said surprised as he looked at the not at the niff why would you be surprised by this? Light was smart and crossed out his name on the blade so no one would see. No one would see it. Why would you have your name engraved in the blade? Why did you write that in permanent marker or something? Els, Els, not that stupid. I would hope. Yeah, me, you, Frick. Light shooted, but he hid his voice. Was El couldn't tell who. So he's a ventriloquist and can change what his voice sounds like. You scoundrel! Ill make you pay, or my name isn't L. It's Snot. <laughs> his name is Snot. I, I see. I see. Light shooted back, and I was sad because it was true. So the author is sad that L's name is so is Snot. Okay. In heaven. Dark was making hell in heaven. Get it? I'm quite proud of that one. By setting clouds on fire, because that's a thing that can happen. And punching dead dudes, and sometimes he shouted some cuss words. Stop! God screamed. But he was powerless because Dark was king of the Shinigami. Uh, no. Being a king of something and being a god of something is two different things. God trumps king. The end. I just finished paying for that car. Because God needs a car and money to pay for said car. I don't care, Dark laughed, jumping in the Rolls, Rolls Royce and burning rubber out of the gates back to earth. Because you can do that. He was a he was a still a ghost, but awesome enough that no one cared. He ran down the highway to hell, get it, but put his blinkers on and got off at exit nine instead cause the traffic was heavy and also he didn't want to go to hell but to earth instead. He zoomed around a bunch of cars and a semi full of angels and got to earth. Okay. He didn't 
stopped zooming through and went whoosh past a bus full of school kids and they were crazy because he was so cool and one of them was near for some reason and he was shocked that Dart could be such a cool dude even though he was dressed like his bud Mellow <coughs> who was a jerk <coughs> but was totally his best friend always and forever gotta love them then he went past a bus full of sexy folk sexy folks but was going too f uh, too fast so they didn't see him which was sad cause the story needs more sexing but that's just how it happens so's because you couldn't just make a porno fic you have to make a really dumb story back with l at the end of the highway because he is at the end of the highway from heaven back to earth okay oh mighty what's what's that wanky sound watari exclaimed when he heard a car it's me you minther icker dark roared blasting his car through the solid gold gates of watari house and scarring some ducks on a pond the whammy's house has a lot of ponds but we're not at whammy's house we're specifically at watari's house <coughs> <coughs> I just finished paying bloody for those sodding gates because we're reusing lines we've already used. Not only that, but cliched. You sound like God, insulted Dark. Is that really an insult? And jumped out of a Kimbo. I thought he was in a Rolls Royce with guns. He shot Watari who had to pretend to be a duck to be safe. I'm pretty sure I know the difference between an old human man and a duck. You killed me, Dark screeched at L, who wet himself. No. Blood. Was it blood? Killed you? I, I just read this crap and I don't even remember what happened because that's how much I don't give a shit. You pissed off your pants. Wow, I didn't know your pants could get angry at you. Watari roared. Taking off his duck costume, which he put on somehow, aside from just pretending to be a duck, which he can't because I would know a human from a duck. Then light came with a battle axe. Where did he get it from? And how, how did he get there? No, you killed me. I am sorry, bro. No, I mean, Al killed me and it's complicated, okay? At least on Facebook, cause we're sexing then you tried to kill me. This serves no point or purpose at all facebook keep your facebook crap on facebook don't bring that drama shit here okay but i got you back l panicked waving his arms like a panicky dude <coughs> oh okay said light and shot dark instead but missed on purpose and killed l frick said l and shot light back i don't <laughs> this whole thing is dumb just before they died dark laughed laughed to lick an evil dude and roared i tricked you into killing each other i am the best evil dude ever and suitable and also a magnificent bastard take that tv ropes oh no that's right i'm just being dumb take that tv tropes is it true you totes are they said and then they died on the floor screaming in blood now time for something else i don't know what yet 